So I want you to take a second to discuss with your partners this thinking. Thinking of a chocolate bar cut into pieces. Would you rather have two pieces out of three, and let me write that down as a fraction, or would you rather have seven pieces out of twelve? Talk to your neighbors about this right now. To my math, let's go to my manipulatives, and let's go to my, where are they? Not here, let's go back. I think I hit the wrong one. There we go. Let's go to our fraction marks, okay? And we're going to pick the one out of 12, okay? That's a candy bar cut into 12. Here's another candy bar cut into 12, okay? Now let's take a look. You guys said, some of you said that you would want eight pieces, correct? Yeah. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That looks like a pretty good piece, right? Okay, but some of you decided to choose seven. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Now, you can easily see which one would you be eating more, the eight or the seven? Eight. The eight. So let me ask that question again. How many of you would want eight pieces out of 12? Okay. Now, we have the picture to help us. But if we didn't have the picture, how is this problem up here different from this down here? How do you know right away, oh, eight pieces out of 12 is bigger than this, than two-thirds and seven out of 12? Frankie? Um, that because, because the, because the numbers of, that are, the numbers of their, the, 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 the three and the 12 don't match, but, but the 12 and the 12 match, so that makes, that makes eight pieces that makes eight pieces bigger than seven pieces. Yeah. Doesn't it make it easier when the same number is in the denominator? How many of you think it's easy? It's easier. Yeah, can't you easily say, well, eight pieces out of 12 is bigger than seven out of 12? That's easy to see. But here, the denominator is what? Different. It's different, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. How many of you want to see which one was bigger? You guys want to see? Okay, let's pull up. Let's see. Let's pull up. Uh, where am I going to? Math. Then I'm going to manipulatives. Then I'm going to fraction bars. And now I need to find my thirds, which is? I can't even see. Is this my thirds? No, that's my halves. Maybe it's up here. There they are. Okay, let me get rid of this. So let's cut this out. Okay, let's line this up. Which one was my seven, the one down here? Yeah. Okay, let's see, was that perfect? Close enough? Yeah. Okay, let's see who was right. How many pieces? Two. Oops, wrong one. Give me an it's cool. It's cool. Thank you. Gotta go to this one. And guess what? I was right to say. No, two-thirds was bigger than seven-twelfths, okay? Okay, let's do a few examples in our, white, our, in our journal. Can you just look at that and tell me which one is bigger? Okay, but you know what? I want to be exactly sure. So, first you find the LCM of the bottom part. So let's rewrite our fractions down here, okay? And if we're finding the LCM, what numbers are we going to be finding the LCM for? Aranda? Three and five. Three and five. All right, what type of map are you gonna make right now? Tree map. Tree map, go. So LCM, and we're making a tree map for three and five, okay? Go ahead and find the LCM. 
When you find the LCM rate, okay. Found it. Okay, let me call on 15, okay? So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 5. Whoops, sorry. I mean, it's cool. Thank you. 5, 10, 15. There you go. So what number am I going to put underneath? 15. Okay, now you need to see what number you have to multiply. Okay, so let's multiply the 3. What number do you multiply the 3 by to get 15? One. Abraham? 2. 3 times 2 is 15? Oh. 3 times 5. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Okay, so what number do I put as my numerator, everybody? 5. 1 times 5? Five. 5. Does anybody know what we're making? These are called what type of fractions? What did I say? Whenever you can multiply or whenever you can divide the same number, what is that called? Starts with an E. Evaporation. Evaporation? Wow. You're on the wrong subject. Stay in math. Equivalent. These are equivalent fractions. These are going to be equivalent fractions, okay? So now, let me ask you, Destiny, what number do I multiply the 5 by to get 15? 3. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And 3 times 3 equals 9. So what do we do? We just take this number right here. We just take that number and we move it down here. 9. So now, can we easily see, would you rather have 5 out of 15 or 9 out of 15? We're always going for the bigger pieces. So 5 fifteenths is... What is that? I'm sorry, 5 fifteenths is... Oh, I don't want to use smaller. What type of words? Less than. Less than. So now I can say that one third is less than three fifths. Okay? Okay, you have 10 minutes to answer each question, so take your time. Remember, when your uh, number shows up, it doesn't mean you got it right. It just means that you what? You answer. Okay, who can raise their hand and tell me when it's saving battery and the screen turns off, what do you press on the PRS system? Derek? It's equal to one half. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Guys, it's not a race. Please do not do the little yes. This is not a race. This is just to see where. Okay, so I'm going to stop this and. Okay, 65%. The answer was eight. Okay, let's quickly, excuse me, five, four, three, two, one, six. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's quickly go over this. So we have three fifths. And what? Um, One half? Yeah. Okay. Who can tell me what was the common? De I just told you. Well, the common denominator was what? Ten. Okay. What do you multiply five by to get ten? Two. Two. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Three times two is. Okay. What do you multiply two by to get ten? Five. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Five times one. Now you can easily see. That one's bigger. Okay? All right. Let's go on to the next one. Here we go. 